Hello everyone, welcome to another video. And in this video, I want to show you a couple of upgrades that I made uh, on this uh, add installation script. And some of those updates are just, let's say, uh, common issues which you will find probably in any script, but some of them are actually specific for this script and uh, what is the i think the biggest issue uh, with uh, all those scripts and maybe if you did purchase uh, an access from my website and you did download any script uh, probably the most common question that i receive is okay Nenad, but with packages i need to install uh, in order to run any of those scripts. So if you don't know which packages uh, you need to install, uh, you can use uh, one of two like sources. Uh, the first source are actually my YouTube videos. So if you did find some of my script uh, interesting and you did download uh, the files and now you need to see which packages you need to install in order to run the script, you can click on any video. And in the description of each video, you will find which packages you will need to install in order to run any script. Uh, second source for um, finding out those packages are my website. So you can go to my website, click on the blog, you can find uh, the script for which you want to run that script, for example, cable tree clearance. And again, you will have uh, over here the list of packages uh, which I did use in order to create uh, that script. So each script is some different uh, blog article on my website and on each uh, link you will find a list of uh, required packages. So that is the first question. Uh, the second question, uh, for example, I think this uh, add installation script is created for Revit uh, 2021. So I did receive a question. Okay, Nano, but uh, if I download your uh, script and if I run your script, uh, will that work for the Revit 2020? Uh, I did say that those scripts will probably work. And if those scripts doesn't work, uh, it is not uh, a problem. I will help you if you receive any warnings in those scripts. And again, uh, the common issue with Dynamo and different versions is uh, whenever you have some drop down list uh, in some script, if it's a my script or if you download some someone else's script. So uh, the issue with Dynamo, it's not the issue with the script, is that the Dynamo actually remember the index. Uh, in the drop down list, it doesn't remember uh, what was uh, actually selected here. So uh, now I'm running this script in the Revit 2022, but when I did open this script for the first time in the Revit 2022, and this, I think it's 2.10 Dynamo, over here I didn't have piping system, and over here I didn't have pipe installation type, uh, I did have some random. Uh, random selection of those elements. Uh, again, it's an issue with the Dynamo. I hope that uh, the Dynamo team will fix that in the future. But uh, until they do that, uh, you need to um, like take care and to see. So if I did create a script uh, in like Revit 2020 and you want to run that script in some different version of Revit, and again, how you will find uh, in which version of uh, Revit I did create a script. When you look up the, any of my videos, you will also see a uh, Revit version up here. So, so again, if you run the script in different version of Revit, those uh, values over here will probably be different. Again, uh, okay, Nenad, but how I will need to fix that? Uh, so take a look at any of my videos, and if you want to run this script, find this video on the YouTube and uh, find what I did select over here and just set up the same uh, same value over here in this drop-down list. 
uh, I will try for the future script so to avoid using those drop down lists I will go with category by name so in the future I hope that we will uh, avoid those kind of questions uh, okay uh, next like update or next common question uh, specifically for this script I didn't have a problem for one user uh, with the selection of the systems so I did update this part over here uh, when the user selects some system so I did run the script now in the user interface we will select uh, some system let's go with hydronic supply and let's go with fiberglass for the insulation uh, I don't know, let's go 10, 15, 20, 25, set values. Okay, so now we run the script. Uh, we have over here piping system. And uh, now the idea is to actually uh, use that pipe system, convert it again to the type. And then once again, uh, we want to see if that type is equal to all the types which we have prior to the user interface and on when we uh, find what is the match we will took that piping system and continue as we did in the previous script uh, also what uh, happened to be an issue when you open this script in the Revit 2020 is uh, this node over here so element delete uh, didn't exist as a native uh, Dynamo node back in the early versions of uh, Revit 2020. So on purpose over here I did, instead of using a uh, native Dynamo node, uh, use this Archelab uh, node elements delete. So for the users which use those previous versions of the Revit, uh, they don't have native node element delete, but they can always install Archila package and then uh, this node will work and finally uh, like I think yesterday or two days ago I did receive one comment on, on my website uh, from the user who did try to run this script in the Revit 2022 and for that user everything basically did work in the previous version so he didn't have problems with anything those nodes prior to the end of the script but this uh, node which didn't work for that user is this like final node which need to add uh, insulation to our elements and uh, as also that user did uh, notice correctly uh, the api changed so uh, it is not like this node from uh, MEP over uh, doesn't work for uh, some, I don't know, uh, Dynamo issue or anything. Basically, uh, when you take a look at uh, this node, behind this uh, MEP over node, we have a Python script. And uh, API did change uh, between Revit 2021 and uh, this final Revit 2022 and uh, what actually did change is uh, this uh, problem over here with the units so in that last uh, version of uh, uh, my script uh, one version of the script uh, i did use uh, this node and uh, uh, this node work perfectly so if you are using this script uh, in the revit version i don't know 2019, 2020, 2021, one, you can use that uh, revision one script and it should work perfectly. But for this uh, 2022 version of Revit, you will need to use this revision two of the script because uh, the API, Revit API changed. Or maybe I did also send uh, my, my change uh, code for the Python to the TACO and probably TACO will also update MEP over package and maybe in that case uh, MEP over package will also cover this issue and it will be working fine uh, until that so this 
uh, Python script over here. I did copy paste a Python script from this node and I will show you now the Python script. So this is now on the Python script. What I did to change, I did to change uh, those those values over here. I did define this unit type and I'm not sure if I did change anything else. Uh, but you can compare what you have for this node and this uh, Python script and this is what you should have in order to run the script. And now uh, this version of the script works uh, also for this Revit 2022. So this is not needed anymore and I hope that MVP or package will be updated soon. This is a hydronic supply. Let's just take a look. This is 10 for the uh, nominal diameter 32, 15 for, for 65, 20 millimeter thickness for 100, I think, and 25 for 150 uh, nominal diameter. And that is it. Thank you for watching. Bye.